doing? Day two of the vlog. Er, three. Day three of the vlog. It's seven o'clock in the morning, and it is freaking cold. Really cold. Really cold. So we do not want to get out of bed. We're going to stay here all day long. We're going to stay here all day long. Vlog number three. X-rated. Stay tuned. So this is where the magic happens. On iMovie. I edit my movies with iMovie. I make a little intro for Instagram and do all my other editing right here. So this is yesterday's. It's really not that hard, guys, to do this. Like, I've made videos on this before, but not as good as these, I, I think. So, just a couple of YouTube videos of watching pe other people learning some tricks and stuff, and it's pretty simple. Now time to move that right here. But first, I gotta clean this. And that. And that. <sighs> this sucks. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. And I'm a go hard. 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 Do you want some strawberries with it? I don't want strawberries with it. We're about to have a crumb dillyumptious breakfast. Yes, yes, we are. Look at that. I've never formally introduced you. This is uh, my wife, Catherine. Say hi. Hi. To the five people that watch this right now. Hi. For one day, a lot of people hopefully will watch this. Catherine, can you please explain what this is? This is monkey bread with bacon. With sweet brown sugar bacon. Really expensive bacon. This recipe will be on my blog on Tuesday. Sliceofsouthernpie.com Well, you heard it here first. Slice of southern pie, monkey bread, bacon stuff. So we moved the bookshelf down there. Lots and lots and lots of books. Off we go to a very expensive lunch date. Yay! So excited. We are going to Grotto's in the Galleria area. Like I said earlier, it's where I proposed to her with a standing ovation and free food. Not. Not. No but, one even noticed. Yeah, not a single person even noticed. But they got really good food and really good champagne. And so, really good cake. And really good cake. Nothing but the best is good enough for me. Successful lunch date. Yep. At the world famous Baratas. Now off to go get a futon. <laughs> no man room is complete without the futon. All right, guys. I know that this is supposed to be a fishing vlog. Um, and the past couple days have not really been very fishing oriented, well, today and yesterday. But um, I wanted to just go over real quick how I caught my fish on um, Friday. And I guess this will kind of be like a Sunday night thing that I'll do, because I usually go fishing on the weekend. Just yesterday I had so much stuff to do, it was, it was crazy. But uh, I caught my fish on a Rick Klein square bill. You can use a Strike King or anything, any other brand you like. Like, I really like Narachi, but they're kind of expensive today with these, but I just had these. Uh, the reason why I was using this one was because I felt like they were biting the black and white better than other colors, but they still weren't even biting it that well. If they bite the back, if they're only getting the back hook, that means they want the crankbait or they want a moving bait, but they want a different color. So, I tried switching it up a little bit, but I just didn't get the same, like, hookup. Like, I would get hit on other colors, but the black and white one was 
the key, I felt like. Um, I use a Ducket Micromagic 7 foot cranking rod. It's a medium heavy. Is it? Nope, it's just a medium action. It has, it has a super bend. Like, you know, like most crankbait rods do, it bends a lot. And uh, I fish with 12 pound monofilament. Nine, like almost all my rods have 12 pound mono or 12 pound fluorocarbon. Um, I use 12 pound mono just because it's really cheap and it's like the perfect medium between a 10 and a 15 obviously. A 10 pound is, or a 10 and an 8 is really, is really thin for where I fish a lot over, like we have rocks and we have tree stumps and all that. So you need something that's abrasion resistant, but you also need something that can put up with that. And a 15 doesn't let this dive as deep. So like 12 is the perfect medium. Mono because it stretches. You're already getting a lot of stretch in the rod, but just that little extra give up. I don't really lose fish very much when I'm cranking. If they either hit it and I set the hook, or I set the hook and they only have the back hooks in, and that's when I lose them. But any other time, I'm fine. I use a... Apple Garcia um, Revo Winch. It's a 5 4 to 1, I believe. Yeah, 5 4 to 1. Um, that slow retrieve like keeps me like disciplined. Like, I crank, like, if you watch the videos, I'm cranking like this the whole time. If I did it with a 7 1 to 1, it would just be like <laughs> straight back to the boat. Um, I hear like a lot of guys do use higher speed reels. I've just had a lot of luck with this one, and it, I feel like it fishes like you can still fish it like quickly but not super duper fast but if you want to slow roll it's a lot easier to slow roll and you don't have to be like so it's just a preference and if you do get a big fish the lower gear ratio helps you bring it in um other than that it's, it's a pretty simple setup so that was sunday's blog i hope you guys enjoyed it or vlog whatever it's called and uh check out duck it check out abu and any really crankbait company. I'm not sponsored by any of these. I really believe in Ducket stuff and Abu's uh, reels. I've never had an issue with any of them, ever. I've never broken one or anything, so. Quality reels. I have broken a Micro Magic. There's a video that I have of me breaking it. That was like a really fluke incident. But other than that, these things are great. Um, super sensitive, the Micro Guides help out a lot, castability and stuff. So. Like I said, check it out. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, blah, 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 blah. And have a good week, guys. Monday morning tomorrow. So just wake up and battle through. Have a good day, guys. Shake it around.